Yu Ling Shuang left the luxurious mansion, each step heavy as if carrying the burden of half of her life. Just 30 fleeting seconds passed, a transfer notification of $30,000 from an overseas account appear on the screen. Seeing the successful transaction message, Jin Jia Mu roared, his eyes ablaze and a smirk spreading across his lips. Ha ha ha, I may be the chairman of the company, but I only hold 10% of the shares. Especially when making important decisions, I still need the approval of the board of directors. It's really annoying. A bunch of old men try and tell me what to do. With this massive $30 billion, I will have more power. I no longer need to flatter those old men on the board. Even if someone else tries to take over the company, I can easily rise up. All thanks to you, Ling Shuang. From now on, anyone who dares to hinder my path will have to pay a high price. I will eliminate them. Ha 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 ha. His chilling laughter echoed throughout the mansion. Kang Dayan suddenly spoke up and asked, Sir, why did you let Yu Ling Shuang leave? She knows a lot of the company's secrets. Jin Jia Mu coldly looked at Kan Ge Eon and said, Are you trying to teach me how to do my job? Hearing this, Kan Ge Eon quickly apologized and bowed his head. I'm sorry, sir. I spoke out of turn. Jin Jia Mu snorted and said, It's good that you know. Pay attention to your words and actions. Although he didn't say anything more in his heart, Kan Ge Eon was secretly mocking. You, Ling Shuang, used to rely on the boss's favor, always stepping on me but now she's no different from a lost dog. She thinks the boss will forgive her because she knows so many secrets of the Lai Shi family. After leaving the mansion, Yu Ling Shuang didn't feel relieved at all. Instead, she had a feeling that something was not right. Does the boss really forgive me? Perhaps he will remember the old feelings. After all, I have dedicated so much to the Lai Shi family. The more I contribute, the more secrets I hold, especially the underground dealings with the nobility and the gathering of evidence of the company's network of relationships. These secrets are related to too many things. Will the boss forgive me when he finds out about these things, just in case? As she thought about it, Yu Ling Shuang became more vigilant, paying attention to every movement around her. Just as she was crossing the big road, Yu Ling Shuang suddenly realized that a truck was rushing towards her at a terrifying speed. The driver's eyes gleamed with a cruel and ruthless look. Despite the pedestrians hurrying across the road, the driver did not slow down, but instead stepped on the gas and headed straight for Yu Ling Shuang. Everything happened in the blink of an eye, so fast that no one had time to react. The moment she heard her own heartbeat, Yu Ling Shuang felt as if her heart was about to jump out of her chest. The hot blood rushed through her body, bringing with it a sense of excitement and extreme anxiety. However, Yu Ling Shuang was vigilant and quickly avoided the oncoming truck. The driver tried to steer the truck to run her over, but her slim figure and the truck's high chassis allowed her to roll under the truck unscathed. The truck then crashed into a building beside the road, causing a severe collision. The car window shattered, and the body of the car was heavily damaged, with debris scattered everywhere. Yu Ling Shuang quickly got up, still feeling fearful, and hurriedly ran away from the scene. From that moment on, Yu Ling Shuang's heart turned as cold as ice. I am lucky to always be on guard, otherwise this time I would have truly met my end. Boss, do you really want to chase and kill me? Why did I hand over 30 women to you? If you still want to force me to become Lai Shi's enemy, is it that I have no more value to you, so I must die? From now on, I will completely cut off ties with Lai Shi. From this moment on, if you don't die, then I will. At this point, Yu Ling Shuang truly demonstrated her outstanding special forces skills. She was seen running onto a busy street, then darting into a crowded shopping center, quickly disappearing into the crowd. A few seconds later, two assassins looked at each other with meaningful glances. One of them immediately made a phone call. Sir, the driver has made a mistake. We've lost the target. Jin Jia Mu sneered, its voice full of disdain. Failed, huh? Well, let it go. She's already alert now. It will be much harder to strike next time. Besides, she's a trained assassin herself. Even if we catch her now, it won't make a big difference. Losing 30 sisters is a huge loss. Ha 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 ha. As he said this, Jin Jia Mu's eyes showed a ruthless look. I might spare her, but Lil Lim Yum won't spare her. She's not only provoked his underground power, but also incinerated 30 sisters. He will be even more ruthless towards her. This is the end. Now she's no different than a lost dog. According to normal logic, Jin Jia Mu's thoughts were very logical. But Lin Yum Wong didn't follow the usual path. He believed that Yu Ling Shuang had truly reached a dead end, a mistake. The assassin confirmed, yes boss. Yu Ling Shuang had successfully escaped like a stray dog being chased and hunted. Her only option now was to return to Jiambaka and seek the help of Chen Yuan. At six o'clock in the evening, Wang Meng Meng carried a steaming bowl of noodles into Chen Yuan's room. 
The noodles emitted a straw aroma, with the green of scallions and the yellow of eggs, and she placed the bowl in front of Chen Yuan. Wang Mang Mang asked, which noodles do you want? You've been playing chess for two days, aren't you bored? Chen Yuan stretched and replied, not bored at all. I find it very interesting. You would understand, bullying the weak is a refined pleasure. Wai Meng Meng looked at the screen in amazement and exclaimed, Wow, you're really good. How are you so excellent at chess? It's only been two days and you've already reached the amateur level 8. Just a few more wins and you'll be at level 9. And there are all kinds of people online, many hidden masters. Reaching amateur level 8 is enough to prove that you're not an ordinary person. Do you intend to challenge Kimura Shimiken? I've heard that a few skilled Go players have challenged him in the past two days and all suffered a complete defeat. Chen Yuan was eating noodles and said with a serious face, I thought you were joking with your talent. Making money is as easy as taking things from a pocket. Wai Mang Mang heard this, suddenly moved, her heart suddenly filled with endless pride. Chen Yuan seems indifferent, but he has a deep love for his country. He's not just someone who talks big, but silently works hard. He wants to challenge Kimura Shimiken, regardless of winning or losing. He sacrificed hundreds of girls to stay home and practice go for this match, just to win against the enemy from Japan, to bring glory and protect Wakshida from being insulted. This is a great sacrifice. A man with integrity should be like this. Thinking about this, Wai Mang Mang's face turned red. She felt extremely embarrassed, and she couldn't resist the attraction from Shen Yuan. Wai Mang Mang's goodwill increased to 93 points. A few seconds later, Wang Mang Mang's heart suddenly burst into flames. Even her eyes contained a spark of fire. Ah, I understand now. 200 million to you is nothing. You even spend it on female streamers. So this amount of money is not worth your attention. The most important thing for you is the honor of the nation. You didn't say anything, but I know you have quietly made a lot of effort. I will learn from you. You're the best in my eyes. Looking at this scene, Chen Yuan couldn't help but spit out. Fish, what is this? Why am I feeling more favorable than the little girl misunderstood again? I really do care about that money. Moreover, my relationship with Wai Meng Meng is a bit dangerous. The girl's current favorability has risen to 93 points. If it exceeds 90 points, will she become a real bootlicker? The danger is that when facing the girl just now, I sensitively captured a complex emotion that does not belong to sibling love. In her eyes, besides worship, there is love, damn it. Thinking of this, Chen Yuan couldn't help but worry. No, absolutely not. I cannot have feelings for my own sister. That is wrong. It violates morality. It cannot be like that. I must decisively cut it off immediately. I cannot let Wang Mang Mang sink deeper. But how do I tell her? The more he thought about it, Chen Yuan fell into a whirlpool of confusion, after which he became serious. Cough, Mang Mang, I have something to say to you. Wang Mang Mang asked in confusion. What is it? Just say it. Chen Yuan still didn't know how to talk about this. It definitely had to be the right time to make it clear and the current situation didn't seem quite right. Just then, the doorbell rang and finally, Chen Yuan gave up and urged Wang Meng Meng. Go open the door, it seems like we have a visitor. Wang Meng Meng obediently ran out. Okay, I'll go open it. As soon as Wang Meng Meng left, Chen Yuan breathed a sigh of relief. Meng Meng was only 18 years old and she had a delicate soul. Also, she had experienced some trauma. If I say something too heavy, it could hurt her again. What should I do? Perhaps I should find a more suitable time. While speaking, Wang Meng Meng quickly opened the door. Come on in, come on in. At this time, Yang Gui Bi always carried an ambiguous worry. It's because Chen Yuan is too outstanding. She often doubted her own worthiness for him, especially since his romantic rivals were all formidable competitors. Only she was the most relaxed, not wanting to become a backup option, which made her feel worthless. This time, Yang Gui Bai discovered a very potential business opportunity. The oint that Chen Yuan produced could be mass-produced, and she came up with the idea to start a business, so she decided to discuss it with Chen Yuan. Behind the villa's door, only a slice was opened. Ah, Miss Yang Gui Bai has arrived. Yang Gui Bai had a bright smile on her face. Today, she had a ponytail different from her usual goddess style. This hairstyle made her look younger and more beautiful. Hello, Meng Meng. Then Yang Wei Bai quickly put a gift bag into Wang Mang Mang's hand. This is a gift for you. I am very thoughtful. This gift must be expensive, right? It's not expensive here, Mang Mang. Where is your brother? Wang Mang Mang immediately noticed the difference on Yang Wei Bai's face and responded cheerfully. Brother is in the bedroom playing Go. Oh, you changed your hairstyle today, didn't you? Yang Wei Bai happily shared. Before I had a small scar on my forehead, so I used to cover it with my hair. Last time, your brother gave me some kind of medicine and the scar completely disappeared. After hearing this, Wang Meng Meng was also very curious. 
Is it really that miraculous? I thought that smelly ointment would ruin your face. But that smelly ointment was so effective, I didn't even want to use it before. After that, Wang Mang remembered the appearance of Chen Yuan when she said, At first, I thought Chen Yuan was just joking with this moisturizer. Just a moment later, Yang Weibai appeared at the door of Chen Yuan's bedroom. Chen Yuan was still sitting in front of the computer, deeply engrossed in playing Go, with one hand controlling the mouse and the other leisurely peeling sunflower seeds. Chen Yuan looked at Yang Weibai and praised her, saying, You're here. Today, you look even more beautiful. Just sit down. You can even sit on the bed. There aren't many things in my room, and there's no extra chair. Yang Weibai blushed obediently sat on the edge of the bed, next to a large and comfortable-looking bed. This was the first time she had stepped into a boy's bedroom. She couldn't help but have fleeting thoughts. Is this Chen Yuan's bed where he sleeps at night? I might be the first woman to sit on this bed, but is he a bit shy or is he too honest, wanting the girl to be proactive in everything? As time went by, Yang Weibai did not feel calm as usual. On the contrary, she felt more and more tense, her heart beating faster every time she was near him. Especially when they were alone, Yang Weibai found Chen Yuan to be adorable. Finally, to avoid the atmosphere from becoming too awkward, Yang Weibai took the initiative to speak. Chen Yuan, the ointment you applied for me last time was really effective. I'm sorry. Can I have some more? Chen Yuan scratched his nose and joked, He, you know how to ask for more now. Last time you said you didn't need it. Now, you know it's effective, huh? Yang Weibai felt regretful. Oh my, I know I was wrong. Please don't be mad at me. This ointment of yours is truly miraculous. If it were produced on a large scale, it would definitely make a lot of money. By the way, is the production cost of this ointment high? Chen Yuan turned back to the screen, playing Go and replied, Large scale production is too troublesome and also just the raw materials for a small pot of this ointment already cost nearly a few thousand. Hearing that, Yang Weibai couldn't help but be stunned. It only costs a few thousand. I thought that a breakthrough product like this would cost hundreds of millions, even billions, just for research and development alone. But Chen Yuan only spent a few thousand to create it. Just a little packaging and it sure make a huge profit even more than selling drugs. Before Yang Weibai could express her intentions, Chen Yuan quickly caught her thoughts that he proactively suggested in a casual and open manner. Starting a company is complicated, from packaging to bringing the product to market. It has to go through many cumbersome procedures. I have so much money that I can't spend it all, so there's no need to exhaust myself with unnecessary work. If you want, I can give you the formula and invest in you to start a company. At the offer from Chen Yuan, Yang Weibai suddenly hesitated. What? This secret formula? You won't give it to me like this? This ointment is a breakthrough product, and besides, Chen Yuan's intelligence and cunning can only do better, not worse. Why does he want to give me a money-making project like this? Suddenly, the heart and soul of Yang Weibai once again stirred up, creating wide waves from the normal waves rolling, gradually forming a fierce tsunami. It turns out, just by my desire, this man is willing to give up a project worth hundreds of billions without hesitation. He doesn't calculate the loss at all. Previously, I thought that if Chen Yuan agreed to my request, I should demand 15% of the shares. After all, my mother also wants to have 10% of the shares. But now the shares are not important, nothing is important, he is so sincere to me. What else can I ask for? When the company opens, I will transfer all the shares to him. Chen Yuan, you are so good to me. Yang Weibai's mind became more and more confused, unable to contain her emotions. She ran to hug Shen Yuan tightly. However, their postures, one tall and one short, caused their large breasts to almost burst out, hitting Shen Yuan's face and causing him to feel blood rushing to his head as blood continued to spurt from his nose.